Welcome back guys, Bushcraft Family back again with another video. And this one is a doozy. I've um done videos on this in the past. Uh the the lab grown meat that is supposed to change the world and make it easier for uh people to feed the the poor and you know the whole the whole spiel. Well evidently <laughs> There has been studies going on, and it is actually worse for the climate than regular old, you know, growing a cow in the in the pasture type thing. Um, researchers at the University of California uh, warn there are major environmental downsides to lab-grown meat. According to their cradle to gate life cycle, uh, the lab grown meat industry produces up to 25 times more CO2 than traditional, you know, normal grown of the, the animal, <laughs> um, which. Negates everything that you know the, the the Microsoft dude says, and all these people that say that uh, you won't hurt animals, and which I'll get to that in a minute. Um, all this stuff, and well, not so, not so, so right there. Uh, really smart people evidently um <laughs> each kilo of cultured meat produces anywhere from 542 pounds to 3325 pounds of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide emissions making the climate impact of cultured meat four times um, greater than you know the con conventional way letting it eat and poop and all that fun stuff that cows do uh, four times four times greater than a normal normal life the way god made a cow to do um anytime man tries to replace what God has done, it never turns out right. It never does. Anyway, at present, most cultured meat companies still use uh, fetal bovine serum. It's FBS is, is the term for it. As the growth medium, that's what they use to you know, grow the, the meat in the lab, which is obtained from unborn calves that are cut out of the womb and drained of their blood while still alive. Hence, most claims of culture meat being animal free or free of animal cruelty is 100% false. Yes. Not only they they cut the baby from the mother just to get this this um, you know this FBS they drain the blood while the cow is still alive draining the blood. Sounds like some uh, vampire movie, doesn't it? <sighs> yeah, so those who say um, fake meat industry is touted as an environmental friendly and sustaining way to feed the world, the truth is... It's not. It's it's just one more way to global control of our food, which 
global control of our food means, you know, control of humans. Uh, just just like the the GMO when development of the seed and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but I thought this was a very interesting uh, study that they they done over at the uh, UC Davis College. Um, that. This industry for lab-grown meat produces 25 times more CO2 than traditional, you know, raising of an animal the way God made it. Now, I don't know what. There's also talk, and this is this is not even how safe this meat is for you to eat. Um, I remember when I first started doing this, it wasn't even thought of coming, being, uh, allowed to do in the United States. It was only in certain countries that it was being made and it was chicken and it was like little chicken nuggets and that was it. Um, now we've got in the United States, it's full, full blown, you it's pro approved and everything. So, for those who are saying this is going to be safer and less emissions and all that crap, tell them you may want to rethink what you you're saying there because it has been plain out studied. That it produces, like I said, 25 times more CO2 than the way God was meant for it to happen. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this one. I just wanted to give you this report. Uh, very interesting study. Um, go ahead and, and uh, UC Davis, University of California, Davis, uh, college report on... Yeah, the false claims that they say it's, yeah, I'm not going to go into it anymore, but you get where I'm getting. Until next time, God bless.